to be opened up within this group with all of the GC riders really looking at each other. Is Voss laying off the back there? Tobias Voss, who's never won a road race outside the national championships, Harper. and Chris Harper's making his move. O'Connor chases. Juanpe Lopez pulls out and just wonders if he can let the wheel go maybe and see his teammate get a gap. That's a good break, Xavier. Closing the gap here is what pulls for Bahrain victorious. He has Tiberi, his teammate, on his wheel. Valdez still in this group towards the back. This is Chavez wearing 45. And Tobias Fossi, we talked about, still with that number three on his back. We're being told 14 seconds, another kilometre ticks by. But the games have started here, and if they keep rolling through, Adam, they'll get closer and look at the time gap. It's only a second, but it's coming back. Now we get hesitation. Big moment coming up. Yeah, watch Voss on the left-hand side. Is there going to be any room for him? Only just. This is... Oh, wasn't worth it. This is what's going to happen now, though, Rob. You see 15 seconds. It's gone back out just that two seconds extra with that acceleration. But just look at the riders off the front. Nobody wants to take it on. As I said, there's enough teammates in here. Geraint just having to respond to that. But the role of the teammates in here as well, if they've got one rider in the front, they can say no. But then the GC battle starts with, oh, I don't want to let that go away. So for the... For the riders that are trying to help the teammates win, it's a, it's a difficult one. GC, stage win, GC, stage win. They want to try and keep it all together if Look possible. Look who's back in here. Look who's back in this group. Filippo Ganna has returned to this group. You said it got better. You said it got bigger. Ganna is in the chasing group now. So no wonder they were starting to lay off at the back. There's only two kilometres to go, though. Less than that. The gap's growing bigger because they're accelerating up the front. They're also playing games as to who's doing the work behind because that group's got bigger. Tactical cards being played all over the time. And now this is Emmanuel Gebre Xavier, who's made a move at the front. And he's with Geraint, Geraint Thomas. Thomas. Yeah, G saying, right, it's time to play now. This group's going to stay away, so let's give it a go. Let's not forget he's got Voss behind. Voss tried to counter a minute ago. The speed's high. Let's not forget they're in a tailwind, so they really have to keep that pace high if they want to catch anyone by surprise. They're everyone aware of it. Chavez on the right-hand side goes now. And Esteban Chavez goes, but he's been marked by Tobias Voss and by Ben O'Connor. Now Harper has to go, and this gap has got big very quickly indeed look behind is it going to stick is it going to go yes they're carrying through and now Juanpe Lopez decides he's going to get across there's the hesitation some have missed it this could be the winning move four away Adam this is a difficult one though for Geraint Voss being in there he doesn't want O'Connor to go away too far so that GC battle stage win battle what is Voss going to do now is he going to sit up and say my team lead is behind it's such a tough one to manage putting guys in moves to keep things rolling to neutralise attacks there's such a fine line between it but O'Connor in a very very good position Lopez on the way across to it a reminder there's 10 6 and 4 bonus seconds for first second and third in this race 500 meters now to be a Sfos yet to win a road race outside of his nationals the former world time trial champion at his brand new team Esteban Chavez is there for EF education easy post the former Colombian is it going to be the moment finally for Chris Harper it's not it's for Foss it's Tobias Foss who makes a winning start to his Ineos Grenadiers career this time yesterday struggling it's two wins in two days and the season has been kick-started for them Tobias Chapeau to Ineos Grenadiers, and here's another man taking the sprint as we expect to behind. Filippo Ganna then coming through to take the sprint from this group. Ganna will come through. They were, yeah, but I think with they were unsure how far Ganna was behind. You know, the both Ineos Grenadiers riders were waiting until they got the all clear. And at his new team, and ahead of the Giro, winning at the Tour of the Alps. It's only day one, but Myers, it started in explosive fashion. For six, the stage. And the race lead. It's Foss, Harper, Chavez, O'Connor and Lopez. Geraint Thomas, Antonio Tiberi, Emmanuel Gebrek, Xavier, Roman Bardet and the rest. And there's some big names in good form ahead of an... Those with the best technique and choosing the racing moment to go and follow managed to get the gap. Those moments came towards the top. Those who tried to make their dart to get the best position didn't manage to keep it. Over the top, it will be Balde. Then it would be Tiberi. Chavez would join Harper as well. Foss was originally there. Thomas came across and grabbed him. And then they'd all look around at each other inside the final one and a half kilometers.
Then this move went. Chavez starting it, followed by Foss, O'Connor, and Harper having to really make the effort to close the gap. And once it went, you knew it had gone. A long sprint, as Adam was saying, from Foss, but he managed to hold on to it well. O'Connor, the only man not really in the shake-up there. Harper looked like he was gaining, just not gaining enough. And Foss, Harper, Chavez with O'Connor fourth, Juan P. Lopez fifth, and then the rest. And then a fairly decent gap to the next group. Yeah, it was a good gap indeed. There's the overall with the bonus seconds, four seconds back to Harper. These bonus seconds don't half make a difference when you get them on the line, do they? Certainly in a five-day stage race.